Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the drill down player. Now, the drill down player is similar to a visual that we've explored already once called the play access. This is kind of a different one, though. This is one that's designed by Microsoft, but it does the same thing with some a few additions to it. So essentially what the drill down player does is it acts as a slicer that you can animate all of your other visuals across on your report. So if you uh, see on the right hand side, it kind of looks like a uh, 1980s Walkman, play button, pause button, stop button, fast forward, and that kind of thing. And you can put any one of the categorical or even measure data on this to be able to animate what the, the results are that you have. So you can take that data, place it inside of the drill down player, hit the play button, and then you'll actually see all the rest of the report do cross highlighting based on the selection that's uh, currently displaying inside the, the drill down player. The thing that sets the drill down player apart from the play access that we've seen in a previous module is that the drill down player allows you to actually have multiple levels of hierarchy supported with inside of it. So you'll notice whenever you start to use this one, if you wanted to, you could actually place multiple levels. So I could have something like a country, state, county kind of thing, and then I can drill in deeper and deeper with inside of the drill down player up to at least three levels uh, and within your hierarchy. Uh, like I mentioned, this one is developed by Microsoft, but let's go ahead and walk you through how to use this one. And uh, we're going to actually, for now on, start going directly from the Power BI desktop because you now have learned that you can uh, actually bring in these files directly from the Power BI desktop. You don't have to go to any other website. So we're going to stick with doing that for now on. So let's go ahead and start right from the Power BI desktop. All right, so to get started, we are beginning again in the Power BI desktop. Uh, we're not going to go to a website to go get our custom visuals, although we certainly can go to the App Store. We can go up to the top section here where you see custom visuals, and we can pull those in directly this way rather than going to some other website first. So before we worry about the custom visual, though, let's talk about our data for a moment here. We're going to be pulling in data that's going to show us some categorical sales, so sales by our product. And so we want to be able to see a hierarchy of our product sales. We'll also have in here a hierarchy of the date. So we'll have a year and then the month. And then I want to be able to bring that in and visualize that across a couple visuals. And then we'll bring in the drill down player to actually show you how we can animate those visuals that we've created based on the, the data we have. All right, so let's start by going ahead and pulling in the data that we have for this example. So I'll go to get data. And we're going to pull in data from Excel. We're going to be pulling in sales by product is our example here and hit open. All right, then we're going to pull in the product sales spreadsheet from that Excel workbook. You can see what the data looks like over here. Okay, and then I'll hit load to bring that data in. And we're going to start by creating a couple regular visuals here that are already available inside the Power BI desktop. For example, we'll start with a column chart here. And from the column chart, what we'll add into it is I want to see something like the year on the axis. And I want to see something like the sales amount underneath the value section. Okay, so we got a nice little chart here that shows us our sales by year. Okay, now the other thing that I'd like to do is let's build out a pie chart. So I'm going to bring in a pie chart here. Not my favorite visual to use, but it actually um, animates quite nicely. So that's why we're going to use it for this example. But inside the pie chart, we're going to bring in the subcategory as well as the sales amount again. So I'll select sales amount for this. All right, so you can see, of course, whenever you work with regular Power BI visuals, you can select things, cross-highlighting occurs where you can see the value that you select here and how it affects the other chart. That works the same way, uh, vice versa, the other way around. If I select a year, you can see where the, that, that year had actually made its sales inside the different subcategories of my data. And then to really kind of add to that cross-highlighting, we can use the drill down player and actually animate the entire chart and see that cross-highlighting occur for any particular type of data that we place in the drill down player. So the, the first step we have is to bring in the drill down player. And we can find the drill down player either by hitting the little ellipsis right here and selecting import from store, or you can also select import from store up at the top right here. So if I select the uh, import from store up at the top, it's going to launch open a dialog box here for us where we can search for the visual that we're interested in. So you can kind of scroll through here and you can probably find it if you've looked through the filters or wherever that section might be. But I'm just going to go ahead and type it in to make it easier to find. So I'll type in drill down player. And I tell you what, let's go back up to the all section because it must not be in here as a filter. There we go. All right, so I'll select the drill down player and click add. You'll see that it adds that into our Power BI custom visualizations pane right here. And I'm going to select somewhere in the background to make sure I don't have any of these visuals selected. Just click somewhere in the background here and then click on the drill down player. 
to add that to our design surface. Now inside the drill down player, remember this is one that you could actually use a hierarchy on, and it doesn't necessarily have to be one that's a hierarchy that's designed in here. It could just be two levels of fields that you have. So for example, what I mean by that is I could bring in the category and I could bring in the subcategory into the drill down player. And you'll notice as soon as I brought in that second field, the subcategory, that you have these drill down options appear up here on the top. Those drill down options allow you to go down deeper into the, va the values that you have. So I can go down to the next level of the hierarchy here. And you can see now I'm looking at subcategory. Or if I wanted to, I could actually drill down. Uh, this level doesn't really make as much sense for this, but you can drill down and expand everything. And um, you're looking at both subcategory and category at the same time. It doesn't necessarily make sense for what we're doing here. All right. So uh, you, by the way, you also have this capability here to drill down into one particular category if you wanted to. But the way this works is you simply hit the play button. And with the play button, you can see that it's actually animating the rest of our chart. Now, the speed at which it changes each of these categories may not be your preference, but these are some of the things you can actually adjust here. We can adjust the play speed here. But really, the point I want you to see here, at least initially, is that you can see that it's doing filtering across our entire report based on animating on the category of our data, the category of our sales. So you can, of course, animate it. It's going to go through each of the categories, and then it stops. You can also make that loop if you wanted to. So let's, let's walk through a few of those uh, things that we can do here. If I have the play access, or the, I should say, excuse me, not the play access, the drill down player selected, and I go underneath the format section here, you'll see there's a few things, a few items here that you can use to adjust the way that this drill down player works. And so with it selected, if I go underneath the animation options, here's where you can actually tell it to auto play. So that means whenever you, someone opens this up, it's often automatically play the report. So if I hit auto play on, you'll notice that it automatically starts playing. You'll also see this option here is called continuous loop. So that means whenever, of course, it gets done with one loop around, it's going to start over. So I can turn continuous loop on to have it keep going over and over and over in my data set that I have. And then you can also tell it how much time to spend on each of the values. Right now, it spends five seconds on each of the values, but really, it spends a little bit too much time. So what I can do is I can bump that down to something like one second, and then you'll see it kind of really tear through each of those values that I have. And then you can see here, it's just kind of iterating over the same value. So maybe I want to drill down into the subcategory level and see how it affects just the subcategories. Now, as we go a little bit further down in the format section here, if I go under control colors, this is kind of a neat section here. We can actually change the colors of what you see here. So we're getting into some of the, the larger subcategories there for a moment. I can hit click, turn on show all, and you'll notice that it changes the color settings and the color values that we have on the different buttons that are on the drill down player. You can control what you want those colors to look like here. So if I don't want the play axis to be green, maybe I want it to be red. You can change it to that color, and red doesn't really make sense for a play button. So I'll hit uh, re reset to default and then turn the colors back on. So it gives you some colors that you can kind of set to it. If you want to change them to different colors, you can certainly do that. The next one here, enable captions, kind of nice as well. This allows you to really affect and change the, what you see here where it says the, the subcategories that we're looking at right now. Right now it's 16 point font, but I could bump that up to 20 point font or whatever I want it to be. 27 there is a, a bit large. Let's make that a little bit lower. But I can change the, the way that those values are shown here pretty easily inside the enable caption section here. You can even change the color of the caption here if you want it as well. So it's a pretty simple little visual here. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is place the value that you wanted to it. And in this case, because it is a drill down player, we can actually have multiple layers to it here. In fact, what we've already done is we've drilled down into a subcategory and we're seeing it iterate over the different subcategories now. So a very quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom visual, the drill down player, and look forward to showing you our next one in our next module. Thanks a lot.